everybody and welcome to another episode of Coming Up Millhouse. Today we watched The Simpsons Season 5 Episode 12 called Bart Gets Famous. Yes, and Bart gets famous by giving the world a catchphrase that takes the world by storm when he is on the Krusty the Clown show. However, that catchphrase loses a little bit of its punch towards the end mm -hmm. and I'm sure we will talk about it today. We have Luke joining us again. Thank you so much for having me on here. And then we're also supposed to mention that this episode has been filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> now get out of here. We're recording. <laughs> All right, let's kick it off with lines. Luke, give us your first line. I, I do have a few lines that I would like to choose. But one of my one of the lines I decided to choose for this episode is uh, "The morning day, the morning the day will be like any other day." Oh, it's terrible! <laughs> <laughs> right it's off the same. Right off the beginning of the episode, Homer is <laughs> reading his horoscope, reading his horoscope <laughs> yep. and finds out the day is not really going to be that special. Nope. <laughs> Good line. <laughs> What do you got, Gail? Mine. Hello? You have to speak up. I'm wearing a towel. <laughs> also, Homer. <laughs> we had a moment where Marge went to answer the phone and she was wearing a towel because she was in the shower and she ran down the steps and she just missed the phone and then they segued over to call Homer at work. Wow. And Homer answered the phone and he, he said, you need to speak up. Because he was also wearing a towel. Because he took a shower at work for some reason. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, George? Okay, mine is a short exchange, and it's when Bart goes to the studio after escaping the box factory, and a guard at the gate says, Do you work here, little boy? Bart says, Yes. And the guard says, Go right in, sir. <laughs> Didn't even ask for his ID or Didn't anything. Get ID. He just said yes, and that's all I needed. That's so. how you get into the show business pretty easily. It's yeah. true. Um, so my line number two was, if anybody wants me, I'll be in my room. <laughs> the very end. Oh, 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 oh. What kind of catchphrase is that? <laughs> We've got a catchphrase at that. Oh, that was good. Good old be... Lisa. <laughs> That's what Lisa uh, what about husband. your second one, George? <laughs> He's a box! My boy's a box! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> a box! <laughs> so, so Bart has a hat, right? And then oh. at the box factory, he... Loses the hat and it's on a box and Homer thought that Bart fell into a, a industrial <laughs> machine and got grounded into a box. <laughs> to a box. Yeah. Oh, That's a pretty good scene. Oh, that okay, oh, that takes no. us two scenes. So Luke, do you have a scene? That you know what? You yeah. want to know one thing? What? That that your favorite line was actually going to be my favorite scene. <laughs> where where the extension for that will be uh, "Damn you, damn you, Boxington." <laughs> so you know what? I'm gonna just, just gonna go to my favorite second scene. Everybody was just staring at Bart Simpson, and Bart was like, "Um, are we gonna like do some like school stuff?" And then everyone was just waiting for him. And Bart and Mailhouse literally just goes, Say the line, Bart! <laughs> I didn't do it. Okay, you two cheer. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Good scene. <laughs> there are also another one of my favorite scenes, but I'll save that. For the losers. Alright, okay. sounds good. What do you got for scene? Here? Well, I also wrote down my boy's box because it's a really funny, <laughs> catchy scene in this episode. But I um, really appreciate on their way to their field trip, they go uh, past all sorts of fun and crazy things. Like there's a toy testing facility <laughs> and there's a fireworks testing facility <laughs> and um, the slide factory to get to the rundown box factory for their 
Well, All those amazing places they could have gone to, yeah. but I say they just went to the box stuff because it's much safer. Right. Well, we're on the same wavelength because right here in my notes <laughs> is the same exact thing for my scene. Toy World, fireworks testing range, and the slide factory. <laughs> it was so good. Uh, I like that part a lot. So. <coughs> That's our scene, so we're going to take it to winners and losers. So, Luke, do you have a winner for us? You know what? I'll just go with the easier answer. Skinner and Martha and enjoying their entire day on the entire school trip. They literally did not care how boring it was. They just did most of it. What? You wouldn't think touring a box factory is fun, Luke? No, but they use, but I bet they just imagine some fun stuff just to make it more entertaining for themselves. Maybe so. It seemed like... Principal Skinner was quite excited about going on this field trip. No one else seemed mm -hmm. to be that excited. Except Martin, he was like, yay! Yep. It's true. <laughs> Who's your winner, Drew? Bumblebee Man. Ah. <laughs> Bumblebee Man, he got to uh, rewrite his scene that he was in for his sketch, <laughs> and then Kent Brockman couldn't go on because he didn't get his Danish to start his day and so the Bumblebee Man got to broadcast the news for the episode. <laughs> so <laughs> What about you? Well, you guys are going to laugh because I had two winners and one of them was Martin and Skinner for being, having so much fun but I had a backup. <laughs> And my backup was Bumblebee Man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell joke. <laughs> so, again, I will concede. I will concede. We all right. are all on the same page. So that brings us to our loser. Who's your loser, Luke? You know what? I got two. So I chose two characters for this. Mm -hmm. Mostly the first one, Barney. He was trying to cover up for Bart Simpson saying that he was for well, one little girl. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you Bart Simpson? Uh, yeah, I'm Bart Simpson. I, I couldn't have do, done that. <laughs> and then she realized she realized that she couldn't like hide from their BES. That's right. got, got the line wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and then he burped. And now... <laughs> and then you had a and second the one. And the most biggest loser of all was not Bart. This one was for Lisa. Because at the end, Josely, every... She was going on to Bart like, Wow! You see, Bart, now you can finally be a character that doesn't have a stupid catchphrase. It then out of nowhere... Everybody's catchphrase is like, Go, oh, I can run the... Mm. Uh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and then, out of nowhere, at the end, Lisa just has a dead stare, dead pan stare, and then says, If anybody need me, I'll be in my room. <laughs> And then the Homer finished it off perfectly. Like, what kind of kids raise his dance? That's pretty good. You got it, Luke. You got it. You got good a job. good loser. Good job, buddy. Uh, how can we top that? I really? don't know. Yeah. I put down Sideshow Mel as my loser because he oh, had yeah. to spend the whole episode <coughs> in the bathroom since he's lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, George? I went with Kent Brockman going back to what you said because he didn't—he got his Danish stolen and that really <laughs> kind of cheesed okay. him off big time, man. Yep. He could not do his job without that Danish. <laughs> and then he got kicked out of the seat for Bumblebee Man taking his job from him. So that's, that's what we <laughs> Pretty good episode, don't good you think? Job. Oh, definitely excellent. <laughs> and a big, huge um, episode that started the biggest meme ever. Say the line, Joel. Grand nerd. Yay! <laughs> so the internet has not forgotten. No. Nope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good, good, good. Oh, right. Anything else you want to say about the episode? Well, I do have a few things, so okay. that ain't just about the episode. 
But I did draw this in my notebook. I do hope you all loved it. Yeah, <laughs> good one. Oh, if you two thumbs like to up. see it. <laughs> With a thumbs up. I have no job. idea what I drew, but I, that is good. Could that be. is good. That's but, good but, but I also like to give a big huge shout out to a YouTuber named LS Mark. He, it turns out though, if you like to see somebody review every single episode, he did that though in a six hour long episode review marathon. Wow. wow. In fact, wow. He, did, he did one with the Disney movie and he now is doing one for Family Guy. Wow. If you ever, if you actually want to see him um, complaining about everything else. <laughs> Alright, check that out. Good deal. Good, good. Well done. Thank you to our live studio live audience. Studio audience. <laughs> Thank you to Luke for joining us today. That is our episode, Bart Gets Famous. We will be coming back at you with some more very soon. So until the next time, we are going to say our line. Without Jimmy Luke Salmon. Jiminy Jillikers. <laughs> <laughs> Jiminy Jillikers. Bye. Bye.